So, hello my friends. Now we're going to talk a little bit about movement and stances in Rainbow Six Siege. We're here on the in the armory of the kill house and I have IQ. Why IQ? Because IQ can move the fastest from the attackers. Now, when you first press uh, W, you're just walking. Jogging, technically. Everybody can hear you walking. That's... it's just how it works. Unless somebody's shooting. Let's take something that makes some noise. How about... Yeah, this will work. Please charge deployed. Now listen carefully. I'm going to walk through this uh, breached area and see if you can hear the footsteps during the explosion. And only now the footsteps became noticeable. So, about two to three seconds during the breach, you cannot hear the footsteps. You're technically walking in silent using the ambient noise from the breach. Next movement style we're gonna talk about is sprinting. I just like to call it double time because you're just you're just moving twice as fast and that's it. You're you're the loudest and you cannot shoot while you're sprinting. So look at me. I'm going to tap fire while I'm sprinting. Doesn't work. You have to hold your left mouse button or right trigger if you if you want to shoot and when you will fire during sprinting your character will automatically slow down to jogging speed or walking speed so that doesn't work how about we try to walk and like really nice and slow walk this is bound to your alt key on the keyboard and uh, the users with uh, controllers will have to just slightly lean forward their uh, left stick. As you can th as you can notice, it's uh, it's kind of really silent. However, if you walk over planks or something and you move these planks, you make a noise. Your enemies will be able to hear that noise. So, these are the movement styles when you're standing upright, completely upright, and your crosshair is on the head level. What about crouching? A lot of people can say, yeah, this is much more silent than walking or sprinting, jogging or sprinting, but take this. When you're crouch walking, these steps can be heard very well during silent uh, encounters and especially like if you're walking over the broken areas you can hear your teammates crouch walking louder than enemies crouch walking I don't know why this is just how the game works sorry then how about we try to crouch walk and walk at the same time This is really nice. This is really silent. This is 
quite quiet. Very quiet indeed. Still, nothing beats this kind of walking. This will be really, really quiet, and it will give you the most advantage in uh, ranked play if you if you really want to clear out the corners, clear out positions, because you will be upright, and being upright means that you have to aim down for the enemy, which is which is always easier than aiming up. For example, if you're aiming at this position, you are aiming at the enemy's feet. If you want to aim at the head, you have to aim up here. It's a lot of distance to, pull, uh, to, to, to push your mouse forward or to lean your right stick forward. You will not be able to flick so easily. You will have to be a very skilled flick shotter for this. However, if you're standing, you are already at the head level. You just have to walk around and keep aiming. And most of the enemies will be standing or crouching. Mostly crouching because most of the cover is crouch height. This is standing cover. Your head and shoulders will be exposed while you're standing here. This is your crouch cover. Your head and shoulders will be exposed while you're crouched, and most of the body, all the torso, will be exposed while you're standing. This cover is beloved by many, because this is the prone cover. If you're peeking out of the angle like this, you're kind of hard to spot. You, you will see the enemy before he sees you, and you will even have your fantastic advantage to actually be able to flick up before the enemy has the advantage of seeing you over there. Let's take a look at let's take a look at this spot. My body is already fully exposed. While there I would be only able to see a head and the shooting arm of the of the of the enemy. So this is a very advantageous position. Now I want to tell one thing, guys, if you go prone, don't move. Just one thing. Like seriously, if you're here, if you're taking this fantastic prone position or or here or whatever because there are these boxes, they obscure you as well. But if you're prone, do not move, unless there's a lot of background noise, because... 15 seconds remaining. 10 seconds remaining. This is a lot of noise. Five okay, seconds. thanks for your attention, and see ya! We did not secure the biohazard container in time.